Okay, so we just sanded our surface that we're going to be doing our uh, Spartan metallic epoxy on and now we are going to mix up our primer for the metallic epoxy. It's part A, part B. We choose a white color here for this project. So just get as much out as you can pretty much. Okay, it's part A. Here's part B. Okay, when you're done, put it on there. And then you're done. Okay. We're gonna mix this without splashing. Just mix it slow. This doesn't have to be mixed real fast. Make sure all the liquids come together. Don't lift it up and out of the bucket. Leave it at the mixing blade in there turning. Mix it for a couple minutes. Pour some of this out. This is the primer. Just get it flat and dot. That's the thing with all epoxy. Get it down, get it flattened out. Okay? You know, you're not painting a Picasso. You know what I mean? You're just, uh, you're getting your primer down. And we'll get this flattened out, but let's just get it on the surface. We'll back roll it. We'll get it looking good. Okay. This is why you plastic off, so you can hustle and you're not uh, making a mess. Take your time and you prep right. Okay. Now this stuff's already starting to self level. This is such good epoxy that, and it's so liquid and flowable flatten itself out. Okay, look, I just I just dressed that up. That looks good. Now, I could leave that go, but I'm just going to introduce this and get this nice and flat. I could use a smaller roller here, but this is what I had. So, this is good enough. Okay, so you see I flattened that out. I absorbed some of that primer in here. That's fine. It didn't need to be on there as thick as I had it. Okay, as well as for any floor. Okay, your garage floor, your basement floor, uh, your, your countertops, anywhere. Okay, so it, it's, a, it's a nice, thick, heavy duty epoxy. We have a lot left over because uh, we just had this kit available and that's what we use. So. Uh, what we have here is a non-directional sanding screen. Uh, I got this at Lowe's. It's just uh, a handheld thing you, you sand drywall with for the walls, okay? So we got a piece of non-directional drywall screen on there. And I'm going to knock the gloss off of this a primer epoxy. So when I knock the gloss off, and I go to put the metal epoxy on, it gives it something to bite into. Okay, it's gonna stick better. And I'm knocking off any imperfections of the prime coat.
Okay, so we're gonna vac this, get it contamination free. We don't want dust in with our metallic epoxy. our project we're going to be mixing up our metallic epoxies we got two colors we have whale and we have uh, pearl uh, but before I do that I just want to go back over what we originally did we sanded our countertop in the bathroom with 80 grit sandpaper uh, we put a nice scratch in it we took the shine off of the, the uh, formica and that's that's key to the project so uh, after that we vacuumed it and we wiped it down. You could wipe it down with acetone or xylene if you want to give it a good chemical clean. Uh, so after that we mixed up our base and we our primer which is key. It's your cornerstone to your project. If you don't put your primer down right, you don't mix it right, uh, you're going to have a problem all the way through. So make sure that you mix your primer right get it on there you get it looking halfway decent you know flat and nice so this is our this is our binder for our metallic epoxy this is part a this is part B now being that we're doing such a small project we're gonna mix all the, the entire batch of, of epoxy and then we're gonna split it and then we're gonna mix two different colors typically I wouldn't recommend that typically I would dump in part A and then slowly add my metallics to part A and mix that with the mixer until it's wet all the way through. Okay, so that's part A. This is part B. You, once you get this mixed up, you wanna move. You wanna get it down on the surface and once you have it on the surface, you're gonna have time to play with it. Okay, so let's mix this up. Just gonna mix this for a minute or two. The more you mix it, the hotter it's gonna get, the faster it's gonna set. So once you know you got it mixed, this is a small batch. This isn't gonna take long to mix. So what we're gonna do, we're using Black and white, basically, we want predominantly white on our countertop. So, I'm going to transfer some of this material into here. And that little bit is going to be our black. Now, I'm going to mix our white. Okay, I'm going to start mixing. I'm going to slowly this in here this this container is for one gallon so I'm mixing a pint so I don't need a lot of this I'm gonna make sure I have enough okay that ought to be good you can judge that by yourself if you're mixing this like like we're doing today okay I'm just gonna Make sure I get all my metallics wet. No clumps. be good okay. move that over there and grab this mixing plate right here Okay, there's our there's our whale.
We're just going to start pouring this on the surface. This is how we're going to blend our colors. We're just going to move it with this. Okay. We are going to have to use a brush being this. We're in tight quarters here. You can let that run off because we're protected down there. rest a second right like that. I'm going to grab this brush and I'm going to just grab my white and put it on there. See, this stuff will self-level itself, too. Even if you leave these drops like that, they'll self-level. This stuff's active for about, about 40 minutes. Make sure we have all our surface with a little bit of epoxy on there. Now I'm just going to lightly drag this over. And that's just going to cause the tension, the surface tension to release and allow this stuff to lay down. I hate to say it, but that's all there is to it. All right, so this has been sitting now for about 15, 20 minutes, and you can see that the, the colors have changed a little bit again. It's starting to settle down and uh, lay flatter, and the epoxy is, is blending together a little bit different. It'll change, it'll change a little bit. So, you know, we're gonna let this sit overnight. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna, we're gonna sand it again, and we're gonna put a coat of urethane over top of it. Whenever you're working inside somebody's house or your own house, you always want to have an escape plan for your material. When you have leftover material, your paint brushes, your squeegee, uh, you want to have garbage bags close by because you don't want to be dripping, especially if you have other type of expensive flooring in people's houses. Because if you have leftover epoxy, it's going to get hot. It's going to want to expand over time. We had leftover epoxy because again, this is such a small project. Typically you don't want to throw away epoxy, but we had to sacrifice it for this.
Hey, we're starting our third step process in our uh, countertop uh, metallic epoxy. Uh, we're going to lightly sand this surface for our urethane top coat. We're going to take the shine off of the metallic epoxy. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to dull it down, but then when we add the urethane top coat, it's going to bring it all right back again. So after sanding, you want a vacuum. You want a contamination-free surface. So we're going to mix up our urethane top coat for our countertop, part A, part B. I can't stress enough, wear gloves, have safety glasses on, okay? You get a drop of this in your eye, uh, you could go blind. So be very careful, please. So there's our part A. Part B. All right, so we're gonna put the urethane down. We're just gonna dip and roll. We just had some fun demonstrating how to do metallic epoxy on a countertop in the bathroom. And that's what DIY is all about. It's about creating something beautiful and original for your home. The kit we used was a 25 square foot kit. The colors we used were pearl and whale. To get started, go to our website and choose a kit and have some fun. We'll always be here to help you along the way with videos like this one, by phone or using our instant chat. See you in the next video.